I actually jumped back to using Titania before Titania Prime to have a bit of a play with her, her weapons that suddenly are really horrible. They have been great for ages, even in here, and for some reason, now that we've come back in here, they are kind of, there we go. Yeah, I don't know what that was, they were doing very little to no damage there. Hmm, please work, please work, please work. Weapons, all the way to the bottom, still there. It has me as never using these things. Well, that sucks. But I can tell you who doesn't suck. Titania Prime. 25 more armor, 25 more health, and 50 more energy? Taking the energy from 125 to 175. Or 150. Either way, more. More. And after using Titania for the past few hours, to try and get rid of, work a way around that bug. Didn't work. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm hooked. But you have to get to this level. Rank 10. To unlock those weapons. And I mean, it's Titania. What do you expect from Titania? Uh, her first ability makes enemies kind of drop the weapon, stumble around. It's one of those where you have to hold it and cast it. To be able to apply the buff to this to Titania herself. Because that will make allies immune to status effects, basically, and make them fumble around. But to cast it on Titania, it has to be held. For her second ability, uh, yeah, you basically just hit an enemy with it. And honestly, the best one of these is got to be. Thorns increases damage by 50%, but Full Moon increases damage by 75%. So I don't see why Thorns would ever have actually been a thing. They're actually killing enemies way too quickly for me to actually use this. It's a weird one. But hey, I will quite happily use Full Moon more than any other one because it has three different perks rather than just one. As you can see, with the debuff of Entangle lowering speed and the debuff of Dust lowering hit chance, Thorns having the 50% damage, but Full Moon having the 75% damage, the 50% health and the 50% armor, I was kind of playing with these and honestly, I think just casting in Full Moon all the time was just a little bit better than cycling through the other ones. Obviously, depending where you're using her depends which one of these you will actually use because, well, you can always use Lantern on a defense mission. Actually, any mission that has a lot of enemies on it, Lantern works really well, and that at the same time. Now, Lantern is a whole different story. It basically turns the enemy into an invincible beacon. You cannot damage them. Neither can allies. You may have seen this in action in defense missions usually cast by somebody who has no idea what they're doing, who will cast it right next to the pod that you are trying to protect. It does exactly what it sounds like it does. It draws in enemies and makes them attack it. Uh, you'll do. And then they will explode if you hold the ability in. If they have taken enough damage. Uh, I don't have enough energy to use this anymore. Ah, uh, Elite Sanctuary Onslaught's good for a lot of things, but not so much for trying to show abilities when there's no power. Oh, Mr. Knox, I hate it when you do that. Please stop doing that. It kind of gets annoying that you can't really deal damage to them, but you can see it attracts enemies in to attack it, and then you hold it in and make them explode if they've taken enough damage, because otherwise they'll just come back to life and ooh, that can actually be problematic. More so when you do it to a Nox, because, well, a Nox will just stand back up and poison you again and again. I'm sick of Noxes recently, they're just always in the way. And then we get on to remembering why I stopped using her. Razor Wing. Now, Razor Wing is great being able to shrink down and take flight, as it is literally described. It allows you to pull out her other weapons and 
You can increase the damage of those not just by mods but by power strength, which is great. But wow, this thing uses such an old version of um, Arcwing, it's kind of weird to actually fly around as her. It's great because the melee will jump between enemies. I think the best example of this I can actually use has got to be back on this ability screen because when she starts using melee, she bounces between enemies. For some reason, every time I use it, it aims at their feet, which can get really annoying because in Arcwing, if you are sprinting, you will just bounce off the floor every time you're trying to use these. I've actually glitched into the floor a few times using her, which is one of the reasons that this video is three, almost four weeks. Actually, I think it could actually be a solid four weeks at this point since she was released to me actually making this video because I just got sick of glitching into the floor and basically biting at their heels. But once you pull out her other weapon, what was it called? The Dex Pixia. Oh, you can shoot them from range and this thing becomes... It makes a lot more sense. Now the Daiwata is... The Daiwata Prime is fine. It works really well. It was kind of frustrating to find out that these two have the same stats as the normal ones. Because power strength is not increased across prime frames. Therefore, the total damage that these things were having were exactly the same. 200% power strength, the Daiwata Prime, does 400 total damage. Normal Titania, 200% power strength, the normal Daiwata, 400 total damage. And I did double check it, even the Dex Pixia have the same damage. 320, and that was 400, but obviously with mods, it goes up quite a bit. Though I am starting to favor other damage than corrosive, I just really need to change what is on there because, yeah. Aiming her more towards the power strength may increase the Daiwata Prime and the Dexia Prime, the Dex Pixia Prime. Don't know why I keep calling that the Dexia, but yeah, anyway, the Dexpixia Prime and the Daiwata Prime may have damage increases using Razor Wing, but that 200% power strength has major drawbacks. And I won't go into the build that is on her, but it's basically Power Drift, Transient Fortitude and Intensify, for those who want to know how I got to 200 power strength. She can go beyond this, very easily beyond this, but I did want at least a bit of duration, efficiency and range. But the reason I'm saying that it has major drawbacks is because sacrificing duration and efficiency for Razor Wing may increase the damage the weapons do, but it increases the power consumption when you are using Razor Wing. So kind of setting her up more towards the duration efficiency side of it and losing a little bit of power strength might not be such a bad thing. And I know I'm going to regret putting this up, but uh, my dirty little shame here being the fact that, well, I kind of polarized this completely wrong and realized it way too late because, well, that transient fortitude, uh, yeah, it takes away from ability duration, meaning that Razor Wing doesn't last so long. So sacrificing just a little bit of power strength by using something like Orga Secrets instead. I am really starting to favor the Orga mods here. Also, dirty little, uh, I'm not gonna say secret if I'm showing this, but yeah, uh, I have health and shields in her. I don't know why, they're just in there. So, yeah. A lot of people complain when I have those in there, but they, this was basically just for kind of testing purposes. I haven't got a finalized build for her, which is why I said I wasn't going to show it. But yeah, take that out, put Ogre Secrets in, run 169, and increase duration and efficiency. Streamline. Oh yes, definitely needs streamline in there and increase the duration. And she works so much better. But that 320 damage the Dex Pixia had does go down to 270. Oh, that's 11,366.5. I can live with losing that little bit of power strength because that's just insanely nuts. The lantern is still there, which is good, 
for people who know how to use it properly, it's really annoying when they use it on enemies that just stop the round from ending when you're doing defense missions. Luckily, that is something that has kind of been fixed now, but yeah, some players really do that just to kind of troll people. The tribute being able to cycle through, as I say, I just kind of set it to full moon and use full moon and spellbound stumbling enemies and making them drop their enemies, their weapons, it's always great. But Razor Wing, being her party piece, having those six drones that will also attack enemies, really makes her... I'm not going to say one of the best frames, but I really cannot figure out why I stopped using her. It could just simply be because there are that many frames these days that kind of going back and using the same one is a bit hard to do, but I think it worked out as... <laughs> I keep saying to people, and somebody pulled me on this the other day, there's 142 frames. There's not 142, there's 42 frames. Uh, no. Yes, 42, because Grendel was the 42nd frame. Ignoring the primes, he was the 42nd frame. <laughs> so there is no way there's 140 frames. I may have mentioned that in a previous video, so just kind of call that a correction there. But yeah, there's 42 frames in total, because there hasn't been one released since Grendel, at the time of recording this at least. So yes, she kind of got, I'm just going to say lost in amongst them, but she is, she has that unique kind of walking stance that is just for her. No frame is allowed to use this apart from her and Wisp. Wisp also uses this same walking animation as she has no feet, and Titania uses wings so she floats above the ground. She's actually easier to get than normal Titania because normal Titania is in the Silver Grove, which makes it just a pain sometimes to be able to get her, but since they reworked her abilities she definitely is more I really want to avoid using words like streamline, but she works so much better now than she has ever done. She looks so much better and honestly, well worth the prime. And even though Neja, yes, I'm looking forward to getting Neja prime hopefully next, a lot, Titania was not the disappointment I was expecting because... I hadn't used Titania for so long. She is still a really good frame. And Razor Wing still works wonders. But anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.